everybody, today I thought it would be fun to go over my daughter Elena's progression as an artist. Uh, I've kind of gone through all of her work and picked out some stuff that I feel uh, best shows uh, the things she's working on and how she's progressing as an artist. And to talk a little bit about uh, one thing I always heard growing up as an artist is, oh, you're so lucky, you know, it's, it's a talent, it's a talent. And there is truth to that. I think some people are definitely more um, geared towards art or whatever. But I also want to show you guys, like, how much time goes into being a good artist. And my daughter a per is a perfect example of this because sometimes she actually makes me jealous with how much she draws. I mean, it is insane. So I have piles and piles of drawings here and behind me is a giant, another giant pile of art. She draws at least two hours a day, at least, I swear. Like everything she does has to do with drawing or creating and things like that. So uh, Elena's sitting next to me, say hi. Hi. Uh, so let me just ask you, why do you like to draw so much? It's cause just makes you happy? Yeah, it's. I sometimes I have a feeling where I just want to draw. You just want to see what's in your imagination, kind of thing? You just want to create stuff? Yeah, and it, sometimes I have like ideas and I'm thinking I want to do them later, but I just, I just do them at the right way and I. So it's it's hard to explain why you like to draw so much, huh? Uh -huh. You just do. You just like to draw, uh -huh. right? So maybe that's where the talent lies. Some people just really enjoy drawing, so they draw a ton. So first, let's kind of look at some of Elena's very first drawings, which um, this pile right here. We'll kind of go to the back part of this. Uh, some of these drawings are when she was three and four. Um, so this one's probably about the three year, four year old age, four, probably around four. Uh, and there's so much of this that it was literally hard to just find some stuff that was good examples. Here's another four year old drawing. Um, she's drawing like kind of stick figures, but you can see the person in there. Some of this stuff is really interesting to try and figure out like what exactly she was drawing. This kind of looks like, um, what do you think that is? Is that Santa and the reindeer? Yeah. Oh, you know exactly what it is, huh? Do you remember drawing this? No. No, okay. But that's the moon. Yeah, good job, okay. So she drew characters a lot like this growing up, huh? With these really long bodies. This is like three years old was when you drew this, I would guess, three or four, probably three on this one. And she drew this uh, thousands of drawings like this with these weird little heads on top of these long bodies. Um, now, were these mermaids or were these just regular people? Do you remember? Regular people. Oh, oh, you know who this is? I totally know who this is. Do you know who it is? Elsa. Yes, you do. I should just let you do all this because I totally realized that was Olaf and that's Elsa. So, what's that, 2015, 2014? 2014. Uh, here's another little drawing. Who's this? Can you tell me? Do you know? That's, that's from Inside Out. Inside Out, okay, yeah. yeah. That's oh, anger, anger, and his head is exploding because he's so angry. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep. So you can see she gets influence from the cartoons she watches. Uh, this, she's, you know, this is probably one of her better three, four year old drawings. Um, very interesting. It would be really fun to redraw this. Uh, here, this is a really good example of. Um, so Kara, my wife, drew this one. And then this is Elena's first attempt at drawing it. And then this is her second attempt at drawing it. And I remember do, seeing this drawing when she did it. And I think she was three or four at, when she did this one, maybe four. And I, we were both, my wife and I were both blown away at how she was able to recreate what she was seeing, especially at that age. Um, and this is a, these are a really good example of like, especially that Elsa drawing of what she did early on. And it, it's always really interesting to see how kids like kind of interpret how they see the world. And maybe she saw bodies like this because everybody was so much bigger than her, but she has hundreds and hundreds of these drawings like that. So, 
So now we're gonna kind of look at some of the, her other drawings. Here's a big stack of just uh, random drawings she does. A lot of pen and ink on white paper, drawing literally every single thing she can think of every day, all day long. So let's look at this sketchbook. So she's had a few sketchbooks, which to be honest, if you guys have kids, I would totally uh, do a better job than we did um, thus far. Uh, my wife and I were talking before I started this video about we're going to really uh, date uh, sketchbooks a lot better and have her do. She just draws so much that it was crazy to do sketchbooks because she literally goes through a sketchbook every week. So um, this sketchbook is from the beginning years of 2016, I think. That's, it says 2016, 2015 over there. But you can see the, the long bodies. This is, um, who is that? That's... Mm. Uh, I know who it is, but uh, what the scary princess lady, or it's Sleeping Beauty and yeah. uh, Malef Maleficent. So this is a sketchbook she's done. She was really into dinosaurs for a while. So she drew like, you can see the lava and the brontosaurus here. Um, that's a pretty good drawing. So this sketchbook is all full of her drawings. Mermaids. I'll show you some more mermaid drawings here in a bit. My wife draws with Elena all the time, which helps Elena. She redrew this. Look how scary that face is. That's scary. Look at that long dress. But so this is one of her earlier sketchbooks. Okay, so this sketchbook is from when she was about four and a half, uh, four and three quarters, June 2016. So you can see she's kind of gotten away from drawing those super long bodies. Now she draws more rectangular bodies. Uh, I mean, this is a cool drawing. I'd like to redraw this. This is her drawing with Kara every day. So she's drawing a lot more like mommy does, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? And you like drawing that, don't you? Yeah. Yep. So she's, she's getting better. Uh, her mermaids, you know, the tails start going out to the left, square bodies. Uh, this is Ariel, isn't it? Mm-hmm. More mermaids. This one, Emery probably did some work on. Yeah, that's fireworks. Fireworks, this is an awesome drawing. Look at that. Look at yeah. everybody watching them. They're throwing some, they're... Yeah, this is from last year, huh? Not this year, but last year. Oh, more mermaids, so... <laughs> that's SS mermaids. She, uh, for the most of last year, she drew mermaids like every single day. Um, Zombie. This is a zombie and it's super scary and creepy. Awesome drawing, Elena. <laughs> I love this drawing. It's super great. But you can kind of see, I mean, obviously she's getting better. Emery? This is another great drawing. I think in that four years or four year old to five year old range, she just amazingly grew as an artist. Uh, from the beginning drawings I showed you in this video to this. I mean, this is immensely better. The proportions are so much better. She's understanding things a little bit better. Um, and again, it's all about her just loving to draw at this point. That's... Um, kind of family pictures. Let's just flip through these a little bit faster. Oh! Elephant. Uh, elephant. More elephants. I'll just skip through some of these. Uh, that's a drawing my wife did that you colored. And a rainbow kind of cool picture. She's, she, you're able to express yourself a lot better now, mm -hmm. huh? You can kind of draw what's in your imagination a lot better, huh? Yep. Isn't that the one of the best parts of drawing? Mm-hmm. Is the better you get, the more stuff you can draw, huh? Mm-hmm. So you can really explore what's in your mind. Do you like to explore that? Uh-huh. What's your favorite thing to draw right now? Mermaids. Mermaids and dolphins? Yeah. Yeah. That's me that mommy helped. This is very Picasso. Look at that face and that nose. That's awesome. So, tons of, tons of drawings. All these mermaids, things like that. And again, reiterating what I was, this video is kind of about is how much work goes into becoming a better artist. What about that poop? Oh, we're and gonna, this. we'll talk about all these piles. Okay. Uh, so okay. the other thing Elena likes to do a lot is make books. Um, this is a poopy book she made for her sister, all about going to the bathroom. Elena absolutely loves to make books, huh? Yes. And here is a Bubble Guppies book she made. She 
really into bubble guppies. Yeah, I mean, look at how much she's able to express herself more and more by drawing so much and getting so much better at art. I mean, these are great, super fun books. And she made these at, I think, four and five years old. So, look at that. That is such an awesome drawing right there. What are they doing? Playing music? Yeah. Yeah. Super great. Mm -hmm. So, she loves to make books. So, now we've talked about drawing a ton, drawing a lot. Uh, you draw a lot, but one of the things that's helped you draw a lot better is watching YouTube videos, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite YouTube channel to, to watch? Draw So Cute. Draw So Cute. Uh, and as a dad, I love that channel. It's a huge channel. Lots of kids watch it. Millions of views per video. And it's just so invaluable because... So Elena basically learns from herself to draw most of the time. Well, she's been drawing from Draw So Cute now for a while, and you can see a huge difference in understanding of hers, understanding shapes and understanding things from that channel. Like, this is a Little Mermaid drawing she did from that channel. I mean, just look at that. That's amazing. She did this. She's five years old when she did this one, um, and she's done tons of these. So this is just a kind of a stack of, of these Draw So Cute animals she's done. What do you think you learned the most from that? Um, cute, the big eyes, the big, cute, big, cute, big, 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 cute. Are you able to see the simple shapes a yeah. little bit better? Yeah. That make things? You know, because everything is, learning to draw is all about understanding simple shapes. Another draw so cute. Yeah, that's baby Groot. That's baby Groot. Draw so cute, baby Groot. And I think this channel, you know, Batman. showing them the circles and how she draws and how it's so simple to explain it. And that's for you, Daddy. <laughs> that one was for me? Yeah. You love drawing things for people, huh? Yeah. And that's one thing about drawing. I always, I think, talk about how much I like to draw for myself. But one thing Elena really likes to do, and I think I realize this a little bit too, is you like to draw for other people, huh? Mm -hmm. You really yeah. like to use your art to make people happy, don't Cause, you? Because I know that um, it will make them happy and yeah. feel special. Um, well, and that's a great reason to draw. And sometimes Daddy loses track of that too, a little bit. <laughs> uh, sometimes I think drawing is just for me and to make myself happy. And then I see how much you love to draw for other people. And I realize, you know, maybe I'm just being a little bit selfish with my, with, you know, my drawings. <laughs> More Shopkins. That's a, that's a candy corn. What's this one? Party hat. Oh, she's, party hat. She's blowing up a balloon. Some cheese. Cheese. And I did it like. Oh, that's kind of a weird cat, huh? That's a mouse. Oh, a mouse. <laughs> yeah. So one thing about and like. Yeah. One thing about this, uh, if you guys have kids, I would definitely like recommend. You know. Uh, most people don't like their kids watching, you know, YouTube or being plugged in too much, but she'll sit there with the phone in front of her and just draw all these Thank things that come up. She pauses them so she can catch up, and she does a great job cookie, cookie, of, cookie. of just learning from That's the videos. Cookie, cookie. What's Chocolate. been your favorite thing to draw from that channel so far? It's cookie, cookie. You do the cookie twice, huh? Yeah. Candy cane. She's so cute. Unicorn. Ooh, Pocahontas. Look at that Pocahontas. That's amazing. That's so good. What's that? That's a girl from this like show that we have never watched before. Oh. Never Look at that fairy. So this is one of Elena's, I feel, best drawings. Um, proportions are a lot better. The head shape, the hair, look at the dimensions on the hair. Uh, this is probably one of your best drawings ever, and don't you think? And a cute little tiny crown. Yep, yep, in the hair. Uh, and so you can, let me grab, so comparing the two, Elena went from drawing this, Santa, to this little fairy in two years, three years. Yeah, about three years. So this is three years ago. This is today, or pro I don't actually don't even know. How old were you when you drew this? About five? Because Elena just turned six, so I should should have said that from the beginning of the video. 
Uh, she just turned six, and I think she drew this a few months ago. Um, so she was pretty much six years old at that age. But So I wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys, like, for one, for me, because I love looking at Elena's drawing. She's copying my hand gestures. I do a lot of hand movements, so she likes to make fun of me. Um, but anyway, so I figure, you know, maybe once a year or something like that, I'll do another video where we can really see, like, maybe how far she's come from this drawing so we have a better understanding of how she's progressing and how much work she's doing. Because you're doing so much drawing, huh? Okay, guys, so that's the video. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Okay. Catch you guys later.